I know what it's like to live off of a really tight budget. I mean, really tight. But that does not mean that we cannot garden anyway. So in this video, we're going to go over what can we garden, what supplies can we find in our local Dollar Tree. And you'd be so surprised what you can find and what you can grow. Let's go. What's going on, my plant peoples? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening houseplants and humor as a form of mental health therapy. And we're going to be all about Dollar Tree today. And I got to say, cheap is me. I am kind of cheap. I'm not going to lie. Well, that's because I had to learn how to live cheap, being that I still live on a budget. I'm not really going to talk about the quality of the supplies because we already know how that goes when you're going to a dollar store. Not everything is going to be the best quality, but we're not concentrating on that. And we're not even going to concentrate on the fact that this will not be able to sustain you, obviously food wise, because it's too small. It's the point of the fact that we want to garden. And if we are gardening for our mental health, even just something as small as this can really lift your spirits. And that is what it's all about, really. Just for $20, you can get all your gardening supplies with the container, with the seeds, with the soil, with the shovel. So let's find out what we got right here because this is gonna be good and I can't wait to show you guys. What we have here already are these little containers. They already come with the seed already in it. All you do is just water it. And there you go. You can have strawberries. You can have cone flowers, which are just flowers. They had daisies, but they also had basil and they had sunflowers and they even had tomatoes. So get yourself one of these packets. Also, they have tons of seeds and you can find them four for a dollar. Four for a dollar, people. Pick up all of your seeds now. I have some wildflower blends, but they also have different varieties. I'm gonna be using this to kind of add some more flowers into my property. You even have the seed starting tray for a dollar. So you can actually start those seeds into those trays if you want to. You can even, they even have grow pots. So if you wanna just not have that little grow tray and put it directly in a pot, this is a total definite option right here that you have. You don't want plastic nursery pots? That's cool because they even have two packs of terracotta. You can even find labels, yes, and you get them for 10 in a pack. We even have some plant clips for those vining plants that we need to trellis up. Flexible ties, you can also use this for those vining plants or for those other tall plants that need a little more support. Garden gloves, we all need those. We have some serrated shears. We even have pruning shears and we have the good old trusty shovel. Now when it comes to tools like this, yes I know they are not the best quality. So you have to be really careful when you're using them. This does bend very, very easily. This will bend. It has done it for me before, but it still acts as a wonderful shovel. So if you have a lot of aeration, if you have a lot of drainage and light fluffy soil, then this one should not really bend on you that much. Even got seed starting mix, grow bulbs, root cuttings, all purpose, ideal for house plants. Now this is actual soil. So once you're done germinating your seeds, then we move on to the potting soil. And it even has that too. And that was a decent size because look, that's eight pounds. For a dollar, come on people, you can't even mess this up. All this is about a positive attitude, okay? Yes, I know it's cheap. Yes, I know maybe we wanted to grow more, but let's just be grateful the fact that we can actually grow something. And that alone can really raise our spirits. You're gonna have this little piece of paper that actually has the seeds in it. I don't know if you can see the little dots. They're so hard to see. But that actually has the seeds in it. And you don't want to waste that. You don't want to lose that. Those strawberry seeds are ridiculously small. And that is your cocoa core or your peat moss, little compacted one. Everything you need. Now this seed starting tray did not come with drainage holes. And if you've been following me for a while, you already know my troubles with drainage holes or lack thereof. So um, you have to be very careful as to how much water you're gonna be putting in this. If you really are concerned about that, then just poke some holes at the bottom of it for you know adequate drainage. If you're not gonna poke the holes, that's cool too. You just gotta be really careful as to how much water you're putting in this container. If you're watering a plant in this, chances are that a portion of that water will actually get soaked up by the terracotta. So just keep that in mind as to what kind of plant that you're gonna be putting in here. These are just plain nursery pots, which are awesome. 
They have adequate drainage on the bottom. I use these all the time. I actually buy them in bulk. You can always start your seeds in a seed tray, but just remember that you're gonna to have to actually transplant them or remove them from here and move them into a larger pot or starting your seeds directly in this pot. What I'm doing right now, actually you can, oop, I just spill, don't spill, don't spill. I'm actually gonna start this peat moss, cocoa core. I'm not really sure which one it is. I think it's peat moss. Either way, this needs to be hydrated first. So I'm leaving this in a bunch of water. If there's excess water, I'm not worried or concerned because I have two more of those little discs that I need to absorb. I'm actually gonna use this seed starting tray as a tray so it can hold onto the water because this has hold and I need it to hold, you know, to hold on the water. So we're gonna take our mix. Oh man, that got everywhere. This is super airy and it needs to get wet. Ha, that just sounds funny. You also have to keep in mind that this peat moss will dry out on you super fast. So pay attention. Ah, oh, there we go with that paying attention and being mindful again. We got we have to be mindful and pay attention to our water, you know, the moistness of the soil, the dampness of the soil. God, that word moistness, that sounds so funny. This stuff is messy. Messy, messy, messy. We want that nice and flat down, all right? Because we're gonna wet this, you know, this little paper circle. That's where it has the seeds. We're gonna wet it up and we're gonna put it right on top of the, you know, the peat moss. Okay. Oh, it's nice and wet. Man, that just sounds so perverted. This is nice and moistened, nice and damped. And then we're gonna lay it right on top of this. Ooh. Look, close enough for government work, as my dad would say. Ah, well, just be careful. Peat moss is very air fluffy. So when you compact it or when you push it down, you have a tendency of being, you know, sometimes being a little short with the peat moss that it comes with. Never fear, that is why we have from the dollar store, we fill it up, the rest of it, you know, the empty space with some seed starting mix. Just put it right on top of it. And just so you can remember what the heck you actually planted, I'm gonna be planting these calendulas and you're gonna take your Dollar Tree label and label it right here so you remember what the heck you actually planted. Two weeks later. Well, it's been two weeks since I've germinated these seeds and I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised. Dollar Tree, you're not bad, you're not bad. All right, let's find out what happened. Now, when it came to the strawberry seeds, I gotta say, this one actually worked out the best. It was actually really good. Look at that. A lot of those germinated. Now, the cone flower was the runner up because this one actually did really good also. It didn't germinate as many seeds as the strawberry one, but still, it gave me at least four of them. And I do see a baby one sprouting out as well. Look at that. All right, we see the four, and there's a little baby one coming around somewhere. Now, the only thing that kind of sucked about the daisies one is that one did not germinate anything. I got nothing. Now, there could be a few reasons as to why this happened. Now, one of them could be a person problem, which means you did not water enough or you did not give it enough light. Now, if you know that you did everything that you were supposed to do, then you are not the problem. It would be something else. Now, assuming that it's not you, there are some other possibilities of what could be. For example, have you ever heard of something called a germination rate? A germination rate just basically means what are the odds or what are the percentage chances of you being able to germinate that seed. And this one did not work out too well. However, it was only a dollar and still is not a waste because you can still germinate something else in there. So you live and you learn. You can always still reuse this. Not that bad. Now the seeds that I got from the packets for for a dollar, remember that? Those actually germinated too. And these, I only planted like three or four seeds in here and only two of them popped up. If I wanted to add more seeds, if I wanted to grow some more, then all I gotta do is just pop more seeds inside of this soil and then let it go. Isn't that cool? I really hope you enjoyed this video and I encourage you to not sleep on your local Dollar Tree. You may not need everything from a Dollar Tree. However, when you're in a pinch, I gotta say that Dollar Tree comes through clutch every single time for those budget people. If you did enjoy this video and you wanna show me some love, then don't forget to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, then consider subscribing. I drop a video every week and then some in between. Don't forget about the notification bell because if without that, you won't know I'm dropping a video. Last but not least, you can catch me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm on there all the time. You can drop me a message. I post a lot of funny memes, DIY projects, and a little bit on the personal side. And as usual, we both are gonna be planting our happiness one plant at a time, one day at a time. 
And until the next episode, you guys, peace and love.